Hello, I'd like to talk to you about a course I've created through INE called Introducing Network Programmability and Automation. I will be your instructor for this course. My name is Keith Bogart, and let's talk a little bit about what this course covers. So if you're like me, if you've been a network engineer for any period of time and you're pretty good with the command line, maybe you're pretty good with the GUIs of your switches and routers and your firewalls, and for the longest time you've heard about this thing called programmability and automation, but you thought to yourself, oh, that's something that the software developers do. I don't really have to be concerned with that. Well, guess what? Now is the time. It's becoming more and more prevalent, and so now is your chance to get introduced to some of the fundamental concepts behind network programmability and automation. So what are those concepts I'm going to cover? Well, my main goal here is to give you exposure to a wide variety of things that fall under that umbrella. For example, I'm going to talk about network automation tools like Chef, Ansible, and Puppet, and so you can gain a little familiarity with how they're different from each other and what their capabilities are. We'll look at the function and use of APIs. And if you've never heard of an API before, I'll introduce you to what an API is and what it's meant to do. We'll talk about the role of software-defined networking controllers and the imperative and declarative models that deals with how you implement SDN controllers in your network. I'll introduce you to the concepts of underlay and overlay networks and what those are. You'll also be introduced to Cisco's DNA Center platform so you can understand what that product is what challenges it was designed to solve, and how it could potentially help you in your network. We'll also look at how to interpret JSON encoded data. You may have never heard of this thing called JSON before, but it's an integral component to how data is formatted in the world of programming and automation of networks. And so you need to know what JSON data is and how to recognize it and read through it when you see it. So I look forward to having you join me at this course at INE, and I hope to see you there soon.